wake up with me. Let's see what kind of a day it is outside. Oh yeah. Some sun. Do some meditation on the deck this morning. on hold come out here get some water hydrate myself first thing in the morning lucky for me I'm on an excellent well with delicious full mineral water then we go over here and add some vitamin C to my water quarter of a teaspoon every morning and then usually a couple throughout the day maybe more depending on how I'm feeling and I guzzle this guy down yummy now let's go out on the deck for some stillness and meditation my kombucha it's fizzing really good yesterday still fermenting it's in its second ferment hard to see it's hard to see because it's so bright and lemon water my lemon vinegar cleaner i'll have a video on that later and let's go outside enjoy some stillness and quiet just observing my thoughts and feelings this morning Is uh, how often people actually find time in stillness and silence with no music, no TVs in the background, just silence. Allowing yourself to observe your feelings and your thoughts that are over your body. Really truly understanding what's going on in there. We have a subconscious mind that runs on its own makes us feel certain ways and think certain ways and it's good to observe these thoughts because it lets us know what we're what we put on ourselves every day and start learning how to be easier on ourselves so if you'd like to join me I'm just going to sit here in silence Right. Time to go make a coffee. Woohoo! The magic of technology. All of a sudden, the coffee appeared. So, those of you who didn't see it, I made a video the other day where I um, roasted my own green coffee beans. So, that was fun. This is the remnants of the this coffee. So I'm only doing a small coffee for my first coffee today. Um, these were 15 grams. I'm doing intermittent fasting, so I don't eat until about 11, 11:30. So I usually get up and drink some water and have a coffee and uh, read some books, do some meditation, some exercise, work on some of my business posts and creating a course that I'm going to be offering soon that I'm excited about. 
be a group course. Well, that's percolating. Go over here. And I do some journaling and um, write some affirmations and gratitude. So in my journal, I literally just write down whatever comes to my mind, whatever I'm feeling, uh, things that I might want to write about. And then I write out my things I'm grateful for. And uh, then my affirmations and, uh, you know, the things I'm grateful for that I am manifesting. So that's... Um, that's one trick in manifesting. Coffee's done. Now it's time to sit and read my books. I read two. I can't just focus on one thing, clearly. So I read some of the Kabbalion, and I've already listened to the audiobook, which has been great. But I needed the, uh, the copy. I had to have a copy. And Neville Goddard's, all his books are in this.